Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, good morning, uh, good Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. Uh, we're here in Warsaw this week, so this will be our, our Warsaw week, and uh, really this whole month is kind of investment month with Expo Real, with the CE Investment Awards at the end of the month, and uh, you know the CRE Awards on the 20th of October, so we're kind of running into the final, final lap of all the events. So we've got our CRE Awards exactly in uh, next week on Thursday um, in Hungary. So if you haven't booked a ticket or a table or sponsorship, there's still some opportunities. Let us know. And uh, really a lot of good international, local, regional people coming and ready to do business. Um, also, our, CR, our CEE Investment Awards, which is one week later here in Warsaw on the 27th. Um, the short list is out. Is that right? Right before, during Expo, I think we put it out, or right before Expo. Yeah, yeah, yeah short list yeah. been out. Short list has been out for a week, so take a look at it if you haven't seen it. If you've been, you know, if you're in Munich all last week, uh, good. Um, you should be in, in your emails or it's on our website to take a look at. Uh, we've also got the. Um, the Europa Property uh, Retail Guide coming out uh, at the end of November for Mapix. So uh, retail looks good. If you've got any opportunities for retailers in shopping malls or high street locations, let us know. We definitely want to promote it to the couple of thousand retailers looking to expand into this region on uh, at Mapic. Um, a lot, like I said, a lot happening this week uh, with with the events. A lot coming up, so uh, big, big, uh, big opportunities here in October to do final. I'd say final business for for the year and uh, a week at Expo Real or Expo Real was last week. I think record numbers, record uh, record number of people coming, and really just a great. I think a great um, uh, atmosphere for 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 wrapping up this year and launching new projects next year. A lot, a lot happening there. So having said that, we'll uh, go take a little break and then we'll come right back with Winston Norman and the news, the highlights for Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Craig Smith, publisher of EuropaProperty.com. Welcome to the fourth annual Europa Property CRE Awards, the only international real estate awards event based in Budapest, Hungary and covering the surrounding region. After a year of online events, now we are finally able to meet face to face with, our, with international, regional, and local commercial real estate professionals. With over 10 countries covered, including Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania and Ukraine, this will be an event not to be missed. Check out our website, creawards.net or europaproperty.com. So welcome back, uh, and we're here for a Monday morning, and we're here, uh, Winston Norman, good to see you. Right, Craig, yeah. yeah good yeah. to be back in Warsaw. And sunny back, Warsaw. Back, sunny, sunny, warm, well, maybe sort of warm Warsaw, and uh, yeah, and the sun's out, and full force, so hey, good to see you, and uh, nice to see you, Craig, yeah. let us know uh, what's nice going to see on you today. survived Expo Real in one piece. S survived Expo, survived um, Oktoberfest, and ready for, ac <laughs> ready for action. <laughs> It's really good to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Panatonia has completed a logistics center for Amazon in the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. And uh, this multi-story distribution center is her heralded as the most lo modern logistics center in the country to date. And it's equipped with all the latest uh, environmentally friendly, uh, energy, energy self-sufficient, uh, 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 high energy approaches mm -hmm. that the buildings can have, industrial buildings can have today. Mm -hmm. And uh, the value of the building is 202 million euros. And uh, the project was financed by Accolade. Mm. And uh, it's uh, the dis distribution center is unique in a number of ways. And uh, it's, uh, although it exceeds 187,000 square meters, the actual uh, floor space only occupies a third. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure what they're doing the rest of the <laughs> rest of the space, but well, um, yeah, they they do that. They said that that's unique in that way. Uh -huh, uh, okay. and, it, and eventually, when it's fully operational, it will employ around two thousand people. Mm -hmm. uh, staying in the Czech Republic and in the manufacturing industry, and colleagues have brokered the relocation and expansion for uh, Severa Components, a manufacturer of elevator parts, which has been operating in the Czech Republic since 2019, and uh, they employ around 80 people. And they're moving to uh, a new facility by CTP, which is City Park Ostrava, Poruba, mm -hmm. 
and they'll occupy around 11,500 square meters there. Ooh, big project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it's it's big as Amazon's. Yeah, yeah, well. And uh, staying in the logistics industry and moving to uh, Hungary, and uh, ProLogis has handed over a new building near Budapest. Yeah. It's, uh, and they've handed over another 14,000 square meters of warehouse space. Um, in uh, Prologis Park, Budapest, uh, Zizget 2. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition to the nearly 30,000 square meters of built-up area, uh, work has started on, a, on another investment park, and the building has the capacity for another 110,000 square meters there. So wow, big. lots of new build going up around Budapest, and I think there's a big need for um, distribution mm -hmm. services mm -hmm. in that area. And uh, finally for today, moving to uh, Serbia, and uh, the EBRD is extending a 25 million loan to the MK Group. And the loan will finance the group's farming and sugar operations and give the group a boost during the current food crisis and help it develop its agribusiness division. Um, the fresh funds will also help MK Group strengthen its use of digital skills and expand um, the digitalization of agricultural processes. And the group will also invest in attracting more female talent through targeted outreach initiatives. Ah, oh, okay. So very nice. Yeah. yeah. So I guess uh, yeah, Serbia, a lot, a lot going on there too. So interesting. I mean, yeah, the there's a lot of news coming in about Serbia at the moment. Yeah, a lot going on there. So thank you, Winston, for the uh, these great highlights for Monday morning. And everyone, take care, and we will see you Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow for the news. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.